else I hear? I ordered a profile bit from Dave Signs, and it's really cool because when I got it in the mail, I got a little thank you card. It says thank you, Dave, Eric, and Vicky, and it has a little piece of candy in there. So how awesome is that? I had a friend tell me that I should really look into making these signs. And so I finally ordered the bit. And I have a piece of wood here. And I printed off a word. And I'm going to transfer to it. And I'm going to try it. Actually, I already tried it once. So this is my second sign. And what I did here is I used my wood burner. And I transferred the toner from the paper to the wood. And I have a video on how I do this transfer technique. So I'll leave the link in the description. And a little thing will pop up on the upper right of the screen with a link to... Now I am going to outline this, and then I'm going to cut out the excess around the letters. Awesome. I have the bit sticking out of the base just a wee little bit. So I just went over all of the lines with the profile bit. The next minute and a half, I'm going to leave this in real time so you can see how nicely this cuts. This board is oak too, and this nice new bit cuts through it like butter. I drift off the line some, but with practice I hope to get better. I'm going to put a border around this. I'm going to draw it with my pencil real quick and then and I'm going to use the profile bit to, to outline it. Wally was feeling a little bit lonely so he wanted me to pick him up and there's no way I can pick him up when I'm using the router but doing this I could hold him pretty well. Even putting him in the Johnny bag would be a little bit difficult since I'm not used to this trim router yet. Here's a close-up view of that profile bit. Pretty cool. And the clean out bit, I don't know what it's called, but I don't have that one from them. But I have this quarter inch round nose that seems to work pretty well. I switched it to a quarter inch straight bit because the round one isn't working for me just yet. I will use it again though. So let's try this. This quarter inch straight bit allows me to come a little bit closer to the outline than that round end bit did. Since this is the second sign I've made, this is all new to me. But I really like this technique. And even with the shaky edges, it still looks nice. I'm excited to get better at this. Real time again, but now I'm going to speed it up. I really love using this little green broom. And I use it a lot. Now I'm going to go back over everything with that round nose bit and I just set it at that 
height right there. So just a little bit into this. On the Make a Wood Sign webpage, you can buy the supplies you need to get started. I think I'm going to order the acrylic base plate <laughs> with the little handles from Dave, Eric, and Vicky. So it's easier to maneuver this little router. Now I'm going back and I'm cleaning out these areas that are you know, like little points these thinner areas that the bigger bit can't get into. I'm going to take 100 grit and I'm going to sand the edges of the letters. I'm thinking once I get more practice on this that I won't have to sand the edges of the letters because they'll be nice and straight and pretty. But for now, 100 grit. Now the next step is to paint the whole thing black and then sand off the top layer of the black. So I'm ready to paint it black. Yay! Okay, now let that dry. The sign is all dry and I'm ready to start sanding on it. Woo! Yeah! Yay! I put some water on it to clean it some and see what it may look like with some finish on it. And the toothbrush cleaned the nooks and crannies really well. Okay. <laughs> now I just have to let that dry and then I'll put some finish on it. Yay! I put my size corner logo on the back and a verse. I put Revelations 19.6 which says, Hallelujah for the Lord God Almighty reigns. Then I added a long wire hanger too. I used this polyurethane plus stain to put on it. It's a darker color called espresso gloss. And even though it says gloss, I didn't realize it until later when it dried. I would have never chosen glossy, but I really like it on the scalloped background. Yay for happy mistakes. link down in the description box to Dave's signs and there you can find Dave, Eric, and Vicky and what they do is they make these signs and they teach people how to make them and so check them out. So thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you next time. Bye!